Hello and welcome. This is Ruth and today I have got two beautiful little guy sets and a matching stamp set for one of them to share with you from Tonic Studios. So we'll have a quick look but first of all uh, this is a walk on the wild side and you may remember this from a previous kit of the same name. So these samples actually on the packaging here are cards that I made for the kit back then. So uh, this lovely little panda and then this little alligator name tag and then this is a little a bookmark or a gift tag that I made back then and it's really really lovely to see them on the packaging but uh, I'm not going to go through the whole making of all of these again because I've got a full video of that and uh, from when it was on the kit so I'll link back to that down below in the description of the video and now would be a really good time if you haven't already subscribed you could do that and hit the notification bell and that way you'll be able to catch up with all these videos see lots of them in different playlists and whatever you'll find this one in the kit playlist but there's loads more videos there and lots more coming so um i will be making two or three of them because obviously at the moment th th these two have been launched together and i just want to show you how they work together as well but you can use them totally independently of each other so that one has 25 dies and there they are the cutest little animals ever you saw and of course you'll be able to see those in lots of photos uh, from my kit as I said but this one is for all of those people who have been asking can Tonic please make some little boxes that are easy to make very very quick and would be fantastic for maybe craft fairs and all sorts of things for people who maybe sell all their bits and pieces or even some who just want wedding favours and things like that that don't take too long if you've got to make them in bulk. So this has got 25 dies inside, makes two different sizes of little favour box and they're so easy you won't believe it. So I'm going to show you how to do that but obviously there are gorgeous pattern dies in there, little butterfly as well, some little tags. I'm going to show you how to make that up but I'm also going to show you a couple of these along with that. This then is the stamp set that was Sim the same as was released in the kit and because it matches and coordinates so well with this little die set it's being released at the same time as well. So I'm going to go and get some card out and I'll be right back and we'll just have a quick look. Just before I do head off and grab some card uh, just to remind you that my affiliate links for all of these will be down below in the description of the video and if you've enjoyed it at the end don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and leave me a little comment just to help me on my way and let me know what you think of the video. Thank you. I wanted to make this right away really really simply just to show all of you who have been asking me for ideas for something really really quick for wedding favours and craft fairs and all those sorts of things just how easy it is to make something really really simple and quick with this. So I've taken the largest die from the set here I've cut it out twice and this is from the Mulberry Wine paper pack from Tonic and all I've done so far is two die cuts now you will need to shape these slightly with a pen, a marker or something. You could actually use one of your, your little uh, bone folders but it's got a straight edge on it so you might just get a little crease along there that you don't want. So I usually just use something rounded like this and that way it's got no edges and it just does a really really nice job here. And I've already burnished these edges along and we're going to fold these back at the end as well. And you know how easy it is to make this? All you need to do is put glue on one of these bases, either one, doesn't even matter because the die cuts are both exactly the same. Lay that one in there so that you've got four sides all around the outside there. And just very, very quickly before you get the glue sort of adhered, just make sure that you've definitely got these all lined up so that everything is really tightly fitting and all the edges are going to close up nicely. All you have to do is fold the two pieces in with the butterfly on the top and press them down just a little bit like that. Hold the little butterflies together, fold one side over like that, fold the other side over. Well, how easy was that? There's the little box made. And isn't that just fantastic? Now you can actually just fold this out if you want. You can put another little butterfly in there or you can leave it just the way it is. But that, that's it, two die cuts and it's made. Obviously there's loads of ways that you could decorate that or do it up um, but that's the basic little box made. Now I've also taken this little whoopsie this little circle die here with the little tab on the top 
I've cut that out in white. I've cut the little butterfly from the set in white. And then I've just fussy cut a little flower from this uh, paper pad. I've threaded some, um, let's see the name of it here, aubergine purple three millimeter ribbon Th through that. And I've put some glimmer, uh, that is actually dream drops on there. I'm actually going to cut that just a little shorter, I think up at the top. I've got 3D foam pads on the back of that and I'm just going to attach that to the side of the little box and tuck those little pieces up in there. I could even make that shorter but for the meantime I'm just going to put that in there and set that on there and there you have it. And that's even really really quick just to put a lovely little tag on it. You could tie the little tag ribbon around in here. I just felt that it sort of gets in the way a little bit, but you could actually just tie it around the top of the one of these pieces here and have it coming from the side there. But I actually quite like it like that. Whenever that attaches and the dream drops dry, I'm just going to nip this little piece off and have it glued from there. But there you are. That's it. Now we're going to make something a little bit more detailed in it, but that's the really basic simple box. Now I've gone ahead with uh, some paper that I had for a little while here. It's a little trim craft paper pad and I've cut out two pieces again here. This is the bigger die, the same one that I used for this little box. And then I've used the smaller one, which is really cute and dinky. That's this one. And I've made a tiny little box just in exactly the same way as I made that bigger one. And I'm just going to go ahead and make the bigger one again um, in the same way as I made the first one. Isn't that so cute? And then I'll show you the sizes of these together. So I thought this looked kind of like a little exploding box idea. So I've got the bigger one here and before I just close all of that up, I'm taking the, the smaller one and I'm going to add some glue into the bottom of that and attach it onto the, the bigger box so that you kind of get that opening it up and seeing the um, inside first. And you could put lovely little flowers or you could put a little message on there, but something nice and lightweight, not too heavy because you've got to remember that's got to fold up. And you can see here that I've put the little butterfly facing this way and just close it, sort of fold it backwards like that on itself. And then you'll bring the top one up like this and then close it in exactly the same way. And now you've got a little exploding, uh, well that's what I would call it, it's like a little exploding box except it's a favour box. So there you are, let's open it up and see what it looks like. And I've just made a little tag and then one of the little banners and this one says with all my love and I've actually tied that in a little loop around the butterfly this time just to show you the other way of doing that. Little loop just around here. Now we're going to have a little look at the panels. So I've actually cut out the smaller shape here and I've cut that out twice. <laughs> That's back to front, yes I've cut that out twice and then I've used the little outside edges along with the inner piece so I've actually just taped the two of those together and the same on this one and I've die cut this beautiful shape here which goes on this area and then this shape here but if I had wanted I could take another piece of this uh, with this shape on it and glue that onto the back and then I'd have a different colour coming in between the two but I thought that I, I just like the sort of flexibility of it whenever there's not too many layers on and I thought I would just keep it like this so I'm going to go ahead now and glue these on and then I'll give them a little curve. I've actually made two of these little panels. There's the other one already ready. And again, a very, very quick and easy box, but just with a little more detail on it this time. This time I've actually taken this beautiful little die which fits on the inside here. It will actually fits on either side, whichever way you like it. But this one here, you can see the detail on that. That actually debosses that beautiful shape in. So that's why I've actually used pearlized card this time. And I'm going to go ahead and glue that on here. 
and then whenever you fold a little uh, butterfly back at the end you'll see this it also strengthens that it's really nice to have it stronger as well but it means that you see that beautiful butterfly the right way up whenever you open this as well and again I'm just going to reinforce all these little score lines and then curl the edges glue together and that's another little box ready See this beautiful little butterfly here? It is uh, it's the same as the little butterfly that I cut out here. So I've cut it out again twice in the beautiful pearlized card and just folded it over so that I've got a little area in the centre to put the glue on. Two little folds there actually. So I'm just going to run the glue down the centre like that and pop this up directly down the centre of that one. And I can hold that in place with scissors or a pokey tool or whatever I need just to keep it there until that glue grabs and I'll do exactly the same thing with this one and then that just gives another lovely little bit of dimension and sort of reflects the little butterfly at the top of it here Another way of using these dies is actually to cut the pattern into the card and put some vellum in behind and then you can either have it as a little sort of light bag or you could uh, even put a little tea light inside that and set it on the table. So I've made the bigger one up already and I'm just going to show you what I did with the smaller one. This is one panel already ready. Already ready ready. So <laughs> what I did was set these little panels on here so there's no cut outside cutting edges on that and I popped that in there and then the other one on here and ran that through the die cutting machine and as you can see then I've got this little pattern cut into the card and you could leave it just like that or you can go ahead with the plain panels then and I have used these little panels and cut that out in vellum and I'm just going to attach this one on here and the best way to do that is to just take your fine tip nozzle there the precision one and add some glue onto the little areas in here right around the outside very very finely and then you can pop your vellum onto that and once that's dry then you can go ahead and shape these little panels and then attach them together the way we did with all the rest of them so just like that pop that down and then there you are very very pretty and very very delicate that's the bigger one already made and I'm just going to make this smaller one here so again with my little uh, uh, alcohol marker I'm just going to shape these little panels a bit then I'm going to I thought I actually thought I had already that done so there we'll just do that as well and then I'm going to attach two of these together by adding glue along here and there you go. And once again, you just need to bring the two with the butterfly into the centre, press them down, put that over here and that over there. And there it is. So, so pretty and so, so delicate. Slightly different looking from the other ones, but it's really, really beautiful. I've already gone ahead then and made one of the bigger boxes up with some mirror card. And it's really, really easy just to do that with the mirror card as well. It might be difficult to um, take photos of, but it's actually really easy to make. So I'm going to just set that aside and I'm making up a little panda from the Walk on the Wild Side set this time. So don't forget to go back and look at the other video, which will be linked below, because you'll see loads of ideas for using all the little animals that are in that set. Anyhow, I've taken this outline die here and I've cut that out twice. So I've cut it out once in black and once in white and then on the black one I've taken this little die and run it through the die cutting machine again and removed this inside piece 
So that means when this goes on here, you'll end up with this little shape. Then I have taken this die and cut that out in white and whoopsie, <laughs> and that goes on there. And then I have these little pieces here. So those are all the eyes and I've cut those out. I've actually cut those out twice and I've popped some in there and I'm going to have a little look and see which way I'd like to put them on afterwards. But right now I'm going to glue this together and then this will go onto my little um, favour box. So I had a little selection of black eyes there and I needed to add some white pieces in so I've added the white ovals on here with the little black ones with the little circle out of the centre on there for the little eyes and I've put two foam pads on the back and now I'm just going to um, attach this on here with the foam pads and I was going to add some eucalyptus but I thought because there was a little butterfly up at the top there that I would add another one and this one is just going to sit right on top of his foot so again a little bit of dimension because uh, I want those wings to pop up and just add that on there now if you're wanting to make favour bags or favour boxes or whatever little party bags and things like that for kids parties or anything like that at all and you want to make them in a hurry those are really really easy to make I haven't even decorated the sides of that, but obviously you know you could do that as well with all of these dies, but isn't that really, really gorgeous? Really, really beautiful. Now, I've gone ahead with another one and I've cut some raspberry pink card out, and this is the Craft Perfect Classic card, and it's 216 GSM. And this time I have used some of the little dies to cut out the little uh, koala bear. So I've used the plain background die, that's this one, in dark grey, and then I've used the same one with this little pieces attached to it through the die cutting machine and I've got this lovely piece here that I can add on there and then all I need to do is add the little eyes on here and we've got a beautiful little koala bear and he's going to go onto this bag. And I've just cut out some of the little flowers from the uh, favour box die set in some glitter card and added them on there but this is really really quick and easy and I'm not even going to go ahead and decorate all the rest of this because I just want you to see how easy that is to assemble and to make because I really do think this is the kind of thing that you're going to make in quantities rather than maybe just one-offs. Okay, I'm going to make one last card just before I finish up here with this because obviously I've made quite a lot of things and you can check out the other video as well. But I just thought I would like to try something with the favour box die set that would be a little bit different from just making a favour box with it. So I've cut out a, a rectangle of white card here. Now this has to be a very specific size obviously so that these just close over exactly in the centre. So this measures... Um, 10.7 centimetres by 9.1 and then I've also taken a piece of the raspberry pink to match this because I've layered the card up already and this is 5 centimetres bigger each way so it's 11.2 by 9.6 and before I lay this on right here I have actually just cut out two of these now these are the um, smaller die cut you can see there that's the, the, the bigger one and this is the smaller one and I have cut out two of these and I've already gone ahead and uh, sort of trimmed them off but all you need to do is just go in here let's see if I can see this over white yeah so on the square here you'll just want to cut up roughly about there and there equal distances on both sides and remove that you're not going to need that and you want to separate these but you do need the little pieces to go on the back here and I'll save you cutting this out extra times if you just do this. That gives you a kind of chamfered edge there. And then you can just do the same here and here. And then obviously you're going to need another one because you'll need uh, two each of these. 
Now on the longer side, so that's the, the wider side, the two butterflies will come together in the centre and all you need to do is score them right uh, down, fold them back at those score lines and glue them on in behind there. And then you'll be able to do exactly the same thing with these. Now, this has to be shorter this way just so that uh, this actually does close over the top of that. So, oops. <laughs> so again, just the same thing. We're going to put some glue in behind here. And make sure this is in the center. You can just, um, it's easy enough actually once you've got the butterfly ones on because you know that these have to go up in through there. Now you can go ahead and glue this piece onto the, the bigger piece of raspberry pink that um, covers all those up, but we're going to add it onto the card anyway, but I think it always ju just looks nicer. I'll show you actually how it looks. That would go straight onto the card, but I think it's always nicer if you add a little bit of extra detail onto it and that ties the whole thing together first. And then have a little look and just make sure your butterflies are facing the right way up. I actually think they're just exactly the same. So in this case, it doesn't really matter. So we can go ahead and pop that into the centre of the card like that. I've gone ahead then and added the beautiful little heart shaped just for you. And that is from the Selection of Sentiments die set. Actually, I should just show you that. That's this one. And I've layered that up in just the same colours, so with the raspberry pink in behind. And then that's on the front of the card, and I think that's really, really nice. But just make sure, if you don't have that die and you uh, don't want to get it, use one that just fits in behind that. Because whenever this closes over, you'll be able to see that there's none of that visible from the outside. Let me just let you see. That's it all closed over then and we've got the little butterfly. I've actually added some of the pe pink petal, I think that is, um, iridescent mirror card on top of that. So it's a really nice little finishing touch to the card and the card sits up beautifully. It feels really sturdy and it's all decorated beautifully and it's just another way to use those little dies. Well, that's me all finished with that die set now. Obviously, there's lots, lots more that I could make. I'm just bringing in the ones that I have already made here. Um, I could make lots more in different ways and add lots of these little animals on, decorate these ones up. But I think I've given you a really good idea of what you can do with it. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what you do with it as well. Don't forget these ones can have little battery tea lights. This is actually one I made at the start just myself just to see what it looked like. And that's from the Dusky Rose paper pad from Tonic as well. And it just maybe doesn't match in so well with all of my samples that I went on with later. So that's why I came back and did this one. But I, I hope you've really enjoyed that. I hope it's whet your appetite for all sorts of things there. And don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. And leave me a little comment if you like that. And um, also if you haven't subscribed, don't forget to do that and hit the notification bell. And my affiliate links for everything that I've used will be down below in the, dis in the description of the video. And um, again, just to remind you that this wild, a walk on the wild side actually it's called, was available a while back in a kit, in kit form. But now this is the die set and the little stamp set inside there that are now available on their own because they were so popular at the time. So as I said as well, don't forget these are my samples from back then. Uh, they've been used on the packaging. And I'd really love you to check out that video because there's lots and lots of ideas there. But hold on because I'm going to have lots of photos at the end of this video too. Oh, all done. In the meantime, happy crafting. Bye bye.